In this lesson, I'm going to be covering the tools and resources that I'm going to be using in the upcoming lessons in order to demonstrate how JavaScript works. And I'll also give you a quick intro on what JavaScript is and how you too can write JavaScript and render it out within your browser. So first of all, there's a few tools that we're going to need. And one of the main tools is you need a browser. And more than likely, you're already watching this video within a browser. So you probably already got that one done. And the browser that I'm going to be using within the upcoming lessons, I'm going to be using Chrome. The reason I'm using Chrome is because it's got developer tools. And with developer tools, you can click inspect. So I just clicked anywhere on the blank side of the page and it opens up this console. I've got it really big right now because I want you to be able to see the size of the script and the code. Uh, so let's just go down. What I did is you've got some options when you open up the window. You can dock it at the bottom. You can dock it to the left dock it in a separate window or dock it to the right. By default, it's in the right. And because it was in the right and the text is super big and enlarged, I wasn't able to really see it. So I simply docked it to the bottom. And there's a number of tabs that are available. So there's elements. And the main one that we're focused on is console. So console, what that does is that gives us a way to communicate with JavaScript code and our browser. So you can, in fact, actually write JavaScript code and you could do something like hello alert hello and we are going to describe that in the upcoming lesson so not to worry but you are able to write JavaScript in here and have that JavaScript get rendered out directly in the browser so that's another reason that we're using dev tools is that we do have this ability to communicate debug our code and just find out more about what's going on with our code so go ahead and open up the browser of your choice. And I do recommend if you do want to follow on closely with what we're doing within the lessons to use Chrome, although you don't have to, I understand. And there's also the developer tools. So that's available at developers.google.com forward slash web forward slash tools forward slash Chrome dev tools. And this will give you all of the information you need to know and then some about what you need to know in order to use DevTools. But the main part of it is that we're gonna be using it to debug our JavaScript and as we develop our JavaScript, and that's gonna be covered within the console. So that's the core area that we need to focus on in the upcoming lessons for the JavaScript that we're gonna be showing you. So the other tool is, and you do have a whole bunch of these that are available. The one that I'm using within the course is Brackets.io. It's an open source text editor. It's an Adobe product. So it's got quite a bit of stuff behind it and it's also pretty cool. It's got a lot of great properties and features. So I'm not gonna go through all of them. It's just simply that it's a place to open up and write our code. And as a matter of fact, I've got it opened up here on the left-hand side. So the setup that I'm gonna be using within the upcoming lessons is I've got brackets here and I've minimized it on the left hand side. So I'm going to have my spot where I can write some code. And then on the right hand side, we're going to open up that index page. So this is the same one that I'm writing the code in. And that's going to be available and visible here on the right hand side with the browser opened. And probably for most of the lessons, I'm going to have the console open as well. And you're going to get familiar with the console as we go through the lessons. So not to worry if you've never used it before we're gonna be showing you all the really cool things you can do with it as well. So now we are officially ready to write some code, write some JavaScript. And what I want you to do now is if you've never written JavaScript, open up your browser, Chrome preferably again, and then click that inspect, or you can go to the three little dots here you've got in your browser and you can open up your uh, more tools, and then under here there's developer tools. There's a few shortcuts. They are different for Windows and for Macs. I'm on a Mac machine, uh, so it depends on what type of machine you're on that the shortcuts are gonna be different, but they all have developer tools and they all work the same way. So open up those developer tools, go over to the console. You don't have to put it at the bottom, but I just docked it at the bottom so that my space is really nice and neatly laid out. Uh, you could keep it docked into the right hand side or you could pop it open to an open screen. So what I want you to write is alert and then surround it by rounded brackets. So that's the shift nine and shift zero. And then inside, write yourself a message. And hello is always a great message to start with. 
So go ahead and write the message. You can do single quotes. You can also use double quotes, but the string content that you're writing, make sure that you're quoting around it. So even if you're doing something where you've got space, so if you've got hello world, and that would mean that you probably have some programming background if you're familiar with hello world. Uh, if you are putting some spaces in your message, then make sure that it's still enclosed within those quotes. And again, you could use single quotes, you can use double quotes, and don't worry about the undefined at the moment. Just uh, click enter, and you can see that it does get rendered out. So that's what we want to happen. We want this little pop-up to pop up, and you are ready to move on to the next step where we're going to open up the editor and write some JavaScript. So that is still to come. Go ahead and try this out, creating an alert.